I think what's different about um, this storyline uh, on Degrassi is that uh, it's mainly geared towards the unstereotypical homosexual gay jock. I mean, we all know that they exist and that, you know, there are, you know, human beings who are struggling with uh, pretty much the exact same uh, scenario as Rally. And on television, we don't normally see, especially teen television, we don't normally see um, uh, homosexual events unfold the way they do on the grassy and on Riley's storyline. You know, we had Adamo and uh, Marco's storyline, but that was a little more, that was a little more femme, and I think this is a, like, a different perspective, a different light at uh, pretty much the same subject. Um, um, yeah, because it's, um, it's, I mean, Zane, for me, I thought Zane, you know, I didn't want to, I wanted to be able to show that you can just be someone without any kind of stereotype, uh, and you, you don't, you know, we always feel inclined to, to, to come to stereotypes to belong somewhere. I mean, I'm from South Africa, I'm a mixed race, I never really felt like I belong to certain, you don't feel enough for something, and you never feel, you know, straight enough, you don't feel gay enough, you don't feel Asian enough, you don't feel South African enough, you don't feel manly enough, all these sorts, sorts of things, and I just wanted to be like, you can just be someone, and you know it doesn't have to narrate the type of person that you are. That's just you know the way the way you feel about things.